Forgotten, Mists of Brattlewood, Chapter 9, New Magic Sunset headed south towards the edge of the forest to meet Sunny, as she reflected on what Izzy had told her when she thought on what to do with Misty. Don't get me wrong, Sunset, I'm flattered that you think I can get her to open up a bit, but I think it might be best if she goes with you to the Crystal Empire. I don't have any teaching experience as it is, and if she does try something nefarious, I think you're the pony to have close by if and when that happens. She wanted to give most of her students some time off to practice, and give Izzy time to work on her scooter project. Just to have Izzy take on what was essentially a babysitting job wasn't effective. Sunset wasn't sure what Misty or whoever had possibly sent her was after, but bringing her along to the Crystal Empire could be the better option, if only to keep an eye on her herself. She came to the edge of the forest, and immediately saw Sunny standing excitedly on the grass. Alright Sunny, let me see this new magic first stuff. Sunset told her. Sunny gave her a quick nod, then closed her eyes in concentration. Just like last time, her front right hoof began to sparkle and glow. Then, as if time had sped up exponentially, a sunflower stalk rose out of the grass. Within five seconds, it was at full bloom. Facing towards the west as the high sun slowly began to cast angled shadows as noon turned into afternoon. The one I made in Maritime Bay didn't last. Sunflowers are one of my favorite flowers. But when I wanted to grow them around the lighthouse, Dad told me that the soil had too much sand mixed in. Sunny told the unicorn. Hmm. Sunset began, stepping closer to study the instantly grown plants. Growth can be accelerated to full maturity within seconds, but it still needs the right type of soil to thrive. Well, there goes at least one of my worries. What do you mean? Sunny asked. Well, the last thing you probably want is for an earth pony to read a botany book, decide something looks pretty, and before you know it, you've got a problematic invasive species of plants where it doesn't belong. Sunset explained. Oh, even if that happens, I think we've got the answer for that too. Sunny said. Out of the corner of her eye, Sunset saw the mare's hooves glow again, along with the sunflower. Then she took a step back where the process was reversed. The bloom shrunk to nothing more than a sprout, and the towering stalk sunk into the grass before vanishing entirely. Wow. The unicorn commented. This agrokinesis is closer to unicorn magic than I thought. It can be entirely reversed. So, how do you do it? Concentration is the most important part. Sunny answered. Just the right amount of focus. Too little or too much, and whatever we grow could quickly get out of control. We have to clearly picture what we want to grow. I'm thinking of starting a community garden because some earth ponies are coming up with entirely new foods. Like combinations of produce. Incredible. This could make supply issues in famine ancient history. Sunset commented. I just wish that doing it so often wasn't exhausting. The Earth Mare complained. <laughs> Welcome to a unicorn's world. Magic is awe-inspiring and fun, and just like us, the energy has to come from inside you. Before Sunny could respond, her stomach also started to grumble. You feel like joining Sprout and Zip at Alpha Bitto's Bistro for some lunch? I'm eager to see what he's done since he handed off the Crystal Tea Room to you. Sunny asked. You read my mind. Let's go, before there aren't any seas left. Sunset answered, as they walked back to the tree line, and the light level decreased significantly. So, have you learned anything more about your new students? Sonny asked, as they walked deeper into Brattlewood proper. She has a file in the archives. Missing pony from 20 years ago. Vanished from her parents' backyard and was never seen again until now. With how young an age she was, when she disappeared, she probably doesn't even remember Brattlewood. Sunset told her. Surely her parents would have recognized her. Sunny countered, and Sunset nodded. Yeah, that would have certainly been the easy route if they were still alive. She was their only child, and they couldn't deal with the grief of losing her forever. Sunset explained. Oh. Sunny replied as the somber mood settled over the pair. I haven't been able to devote a ton of time to digging deeper, and maybe that's a good thing for now. I don't know where she's staying at night, but the address she gave me on her student information doesn't exist. I've only gotten one theory so far, and I haven't been able to confirm or bust it yet. Sunset continued. And that is? Sunny asked. I've got a feeling her cutie mark is fake. That she doesn't have a cutie mark. The unicorn told the Earth Mare. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. 
Sunny replied, puzzled. Every pony has a cutie mark at our age. Naturally, yes. Unnaturally is another story. The mark on her flank is a simple butterfly, and I've got a hunch it could be drawn on. She was watching one of our first morning classes earlier in the week, and when rain came into play, she bolted back into the forest. My point is, a lack of a cutie mark, natural or otherwise, would certainly explain her lack of magical prowess. Sunny gave this some thought. Sunset was still the only pony she knew with two cutie marks, one on each flank. With the generations of ponies that had come and gone without magic, the significance of a pony's cutie mark had faded somewhat. Sunny had read that a common practice for a lot of ponies in ancient Equestria was to hold a celebration called a Cutesiniera, to celebrate getting one's cutie mark, and that practice had all but vanished. But a cutie mark was still something that every adult pony had. She had never heard of a pony Misty's age without one. So what are you gonna do? Sunny asked. For now, take the wait and see approach. I know it's risky, but it's the only one I think is acceptable. I've accused ponies and people of being something they're not before, and the results were disastrous almost every time. If she is here at the behest of some pony else, and she figures out that we're onto her, she could vanish back to whoever sent her here, and we'll be back to square one. Or maybe something else brought her back to Bridalwood. Maybe somewhere really deep down are 20 year old memories waiting to surface. But for now, she'll be coming with us to the Crystal Empire. I don't want to leave her here with the others. Well, if that's what you think is best, Sunset. My god, look, guys, they're playing Among Us! I'm sorry, I said that. Anywho, let's get on to our lively donators. Stop donators, Jesse Smith, Star630, Battle Softball, Only One Things, Ryan and Iron Sky. Metaphor Gona 9, Jack TF, Jack Sid Raiden, Narlis, Black Moon, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Sword Brother, Mortar, Armor, Cutlight, Ruben, Sad, 952, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Rise, Soul, Shadow, Malu, JD8, Chaser Quest, Pixel, Mook, Dixie, Zenon, Bob, Gadget, GF, Murder Princess, J1101, Kalidus, A Little Money, and many more fantastic people. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.